With the latest update for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, we've received a ton of new Infinity Rifts to do us on them are actually really pretty difficult, but if you're able to freestar all of them, it will result in you unlocking that awesome symbiote spidey costume, so it's a goal definitely worth aiming for. Now, since yesterday, I've had a lot of messages on the channel in regards to this particular one here. It's only a level 23 Infinity Rift, but to get that final star to finish it in 4 minutes and 30 seconds is actually pretty tricky unless you run the setup I'm about to show you in this video. So what I'll do first is I'll show off the, the heroes we're using and also the ISO 8 we have on them because that's very important and then once we've done that we'll go through the full gameplay as well. But let's jump in and have a look at the heroes and their ISO 8. With this particular stage then, it's only a low level trash that you will be taking on, so you want to take in characters that are good at trash clearing. Now, one of the most important things as well is in regards to your ISO 8, and I'm only actually equipping one here, but it really does the job. So you'll see the top effects on this is increases resistance to being interrupted while attacking by a ton. Now, at the end of the level, when you're on the turrets, you have all these Ultron bots that appear and their laser shoots you off the turret, however if you're equipping an ISO such as this the chances are you won't get shot off it and you can just keep attacking and that allows you to finish the stage nice and quick. But character wise, the first one I've got is Spidey, he's great at trash clearing. We then have Star-Lord, he can fire out his whirlwind and his shock move which is really nice. Hawkeye's up next, great from the range perspective for taking out the bots that spawn towards the bottom of the screen later on. And then finally we've got Storm, she's fantastic with her Whirlwind, especially if you synergize it with her Ice move as well. So that's the four characters we're using, that's the Ice Weight that is equipped on them as well. So let's jump in now and I'll talk you through the gameplay. As soon as this stage starts then you can see you need to run over and activate the actual lift, so do that ASAP. It will then start the lift to go up and you get to watch the awesome fight between Ant-Man and also Ultimo at the same time. Now, two times during this actual section you'll smash the glass and you'll have Ultron bots that will come in. So you want to use one of your characters, it can be any one really, and just use the AOE attacks on them so you can take out the trash quickly. You can see I'm doing it now. If you switch between characters that can be a nice way to actually manage the energy. So for the next section we've got a fair bit, but let's just watch as we go through the, the lift here all the way to the top. It does take a minute or so. Here we go, here's the second group just about to drop in. In this instance we can take them out with Star Lord with his spin move. He is level 100 so he does absolutely smash through them, but they are low level trash anyway so you don't have to be as high level to get through them. But that's the, the two stages of enemies you fight here, so the next section once we get to the top of the lift is when we go on the turrets. And here we go, here's the turrets here, so you want to stay near them because if you go to the other side of the screen it takes longer for the AI to run to the turrets. Now in the first instance here you can see you don't have to fight any trash to use them. It actually takes a moment or two for the AI to kick in there, but despite that we still manage to do this with a fair bit of time left. So we're just holding this down until we get the bar down to the little black line you can see on his health bar and that will generate a wave of enemies to drop in. Here we go, here's the enemies coming in, so just getting ready and we've got four characters that are great for taking out trash so it really is your own choice which one you go for. I switch between them here just so you can see a little bit of variety and you can see which playstyle you would prefer for taking them out. Here we go, so we're back on the turrets, now you have the Ultron bots fly in, you can see them here and you can see they're actually targeting Spidey. So in a moment they'll fire and if we didn't have the ISO that stops you from being interrupted then you would actually get hit off the turret but as it stands you can still shoot and the damage they do is negligible so you're able to just really take that. So there we go, we got a fair chunk of his health off so again we're just repeating the, the stage here where all the ads come in so we'll just take them out as soon as we can, jump back on the turrets and then we can do full damage due to being uninterrupted there, so let's just watch the rest of the gameplay here and then we'll see how quickly we're able to do it in.
There we go, that's him down. Now, on this next screen, we can actually see how long it took us to do that. And I only found this out yesterday. If you press the X button here, it brings up some stats as a breakdown. So you can see, it took us 3 minutes 52, which means we still had a whopping 38 seconds left to do it. And there was a few mistakes I made when I was taking out the trash as well. So really nice and easy with this strategy. Now, let me know in the comments below if you do follow this advice, how you get on, if you're able to get that elusive third star and get even closer to the Simbet Spidey costume. And let me know if there's a particular rift you would like for me to cover next, because I'm more than happy to do that. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon.